Ready? Yeah. Okay. My name is Tina Buffaro and I am a tattoo artist. I've been tattooing for 15 years. The tattoos are pieces of art. Uh, each one's unique and it's really a collaboration. Even though I'm doing all the artwork, the, the person comes up with the base idea. I'm influenced by a lot of different art styles. Uh, tattoo artists work in a few different ways. Some people focus on one style, that's what they do. That's what they're good at. Um, I, I like to do a lot of different styles, although I know my own style is shown through in all my artwork because people always say, or clients of mine will say, oh, I, I saw this tattoo and I went up to him and sure enough, you had done it and I knew it. You know, even though I do Hindu artwork, I do Japanese, I do black work, I'm inspired by Art Deco, Art Nouveau, I'm, I mean, it's just kind of endless. I think each one is a piece of artwork. It's a walking canvas, for sure. It makes me laugh because now when I'm sitting and coloring them, I'm thinking, I was doing this when I was six and five, you know, in coloring books. So the center of your arm be right here. This will come up onto your in front. Flowers would be great if they were all kind of a different combination of colors and then patterns in these. Okay. Sian's design is one of the most unusual pieces I've done for sure. She just brought this card for an idea. I came up with these flowers and used some of her colors and then from there I just ran with it and added patterns into the petals. Right, and so just be working on this. My clients are they're really invaluable to me because of how much I learn. I can't stress that enough, how much I learn from each one. It keeps it fresh, whereas if I were in a studio doing paintings of my own, it's easier to get set in your ideas, whereas I can't get set in my ideas. It's impossible because people are always bringing new ideas. I really like that about what I do. If that, if even if we had it come down just a little bit further, right there, what do you think? Have to bring it forward. forward just a little bit. Yeah, we can. So basically, you kind of want to bring that flower about mm -hmm. this. My mom was a painter, so it was kind of always in my life. Even though I never thought about I'm an artist or thought about I'm going to do this for a living or anything, it was just always there. I'm getting used to it already. <laughs> 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 no, I love it, Tina. You know. Growing up in Spokane was um, safe and it's a good place to bring up children, but uh, not as many creative things to do. There is this need to be creative that I have and I'm sure most other artists have, and that's what drives us to be artists. I came here to go to art school and went to the Art Institute of Seattle. I wanted to be a graphic designer or an illustrator. And it did, I did that for about two years, and it really wasn't what I wanted to do. It's mostly the deadlines that I wasn't interested in. <laughs> okay, let's see. We're ready. Oh, yeah. No. This one. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people say what I do is really high pressure, but to me it's not. Um, just per putting permanence on people's skin. Um, to me, high pressure is when someone comes in and they say, I want this and I want it tomorrow or right now. Uh, I like to mull things over. I meet my clients quite a ways ahead of their appointment and we talk about what they want. I get to think about it. I'm always thinking about what I'm working on when I'm not at work. I got my first tattoo when I was, I had to have been about 21. And I got it because, uh, you know, when I started out doing this, I was just getting equipment so that I could tattoo myself. I ended up starting to tattoo people I knew. Uh, it wasn't my plan, really, but that's how it worked. And when I started to realize I was starting to get a lot of people who wanted to get tattoos for me, I realized I needed to really learn 
as much as I could from somebody who's been doing it for a long time. For five years, I was with Mount Mzonga. I can't even say how much I learned while I worked there. The technique for tattoos has changed a lot. Just the knowledge that people have now. The inks have changed, they've gotten better. The uh, machines have changed and gotten better. There's a lot of different reasons why people get tattoos. Probably as many reasons as there are tattoos. People get them to heal themselves. They get them just purely for ornamentation. They'll get them to mark some sort of event, bringing your ideas out, putting them on your body. It's a really powerful thing. I think that's the most powerful and addictive thing about tattooing is just being able to put your ideas on the outside of your body for others to see. It is a really intimate relationship. I have to draw out their ideas. I love being able to get to know people in that way and a lot of the pieces I do are bigger and so, you know, some people I'll work on for two years. For the most part, the pieces when I finish them, they walk out the door. The actual piece is gone and um, for me, that's actually a good thing because I tend to obsess over my artwork. <laughs> so it's kind of good that it walks out the door. To see the joy that people get when they get the, the work finished or when they're looking in the mirror after whatever appointment we've done, it's just really gratifying because you can really see how deeply it, it touches people to, to get this work done. It's not just a picture on their body, it impacts them way deeper than that.